you're here with Chell for an, kind of another update video. This is an update on my Dowd Legacy. It's basically just, um, I noticed after doing my last video, which is the weirdest thing because yesterday I recorded 100 Baby and it recorded fine, audio was fine, there was no issues. And I did absolutely nothing to my settings. I did not change nothing. So I got up and recorded, this morning I recorded, uh, the second part of BACC, which should go up today as well, probably before this video. Uh, so I recorded BACC and I was, re I was I was viewing it back after I recorded it and the audio is not exactly right. Uh, something is, the audio is like the volume on my mic was turned way down. We're going to follow Heidi because I have a habit of I talk and not even pay attention. So... Uh, yeah, I, the audio was turned way down, and I went into my settings after I was done, obviously, recording, and I went into my settings, and my mic was turned down to 20%, which is not where I had it last, which is weird because a fellow YouTuber and friend of mine, she said her mic was turned down to, like, 15%, and she didn't mess with her settings. So I, but neither one of us had a, a Windows update between the last good recorded video and the turned down. So I don't know what's going on there, but I thought it was kind of odd that we both ended up having the same problem, and we record with two different programs. She uses OBS, and I use Bandicam. So I have no idea what's going on, but this is basically just a, a video that I'm going to use to test my audio and make sure my audio is back and everything like that and I figured might as well record an update to the Dowd Legacy. Y'all seem to like my update videos so I will probably try to do some and sprinkle them in more here and there but so the last time we did the update videos when my air conditioner was down and uh we had Joseph, we had Lenny, we had Kravitz, we had Madonna, we had them all. Well Joseph passed away and he passed away the next day, that Wednesday, he passed away. And just from old age, you know, nothing untoward. And uh, then Lenny and Kravitz aged to young adult. And I was, I was seriously, for a little while, I was debating on just moving Carolina out. She's got, uh, let's see. I want to find the vampire ones. Is there a vampire? Yeah. So she has completed Good Vampire. And she has completed... Oh, excuse me. Gaspy gasp. Not gas. Gasp. Gasp. Like, yeah. Okay. So, anyways. That's neither here nor there. Uh, she's completed Master Vampire. And I believe she completed the family one as well. Yes, she completed Vampire Family. So she's completed all of her vampire aspirations. Which was the whole reason I had her turn into a vampire. Was that I wanted to complete the vampire aspirations for the challenge. Uh, so she completed those. And I really did think at, at one time I was like, okay, as soon as she completes those aspirations... I, I will either turn her back human, which I decided against because there are uh, glitches and everything that when you turn a vampire back human, they retain some of their uh, vampire weaknesses. And I was like, okay, so instead of dealing with that, I could just leave her a vampire and move her out. And then I started having a lot of fun with her. And I just, I don't want to get rid of her. <laughs> like, I, I'm going to eventually probably move her out. But for now, I'm kind of having fun with her. And whenever I need, you know, when I don't have anything that I want to do with her or anything like that, I'll throw her in her coffin and make her hibernate. And then I just won't mess with her. So for now, Carolina's going to stick with me. And But, but I say she's going to stick with me. Things are fixing a change in the Dowd legacy. Uh, so let me give you an update of what has happened. And then I will tell you what is going to happen. Uh, so anyways, uh, Heidi and, and Waylon, the guy that she went on the, the dinner. Oh, she's begging for toys. Oh, we're going to buy you a toy when we get home. Uh, Heidi and Waylon, they have, uh, they have gotten, I don't know if they're married. Let me, they may not even be married at this point, uh, relationships. I don't know why I was looking in there. Yes, spouses. Okay, they are married. I thought I got them married, but I wasn't 100%. I didn't do the big wedding. I just kind of did the, you know, 
elope. So I I need to do a proper wedding. I it's been a it's been a long time since I've done a proper wedding. But uh okay, are you just gonna get you a drink? Yeah, you're gonna get you a drink. So Heidi and Waylon, they they really kept hitting it off, and so I was just like Lydia and Kravitz aged up to young adult, and I moved them out. And since I wasn't moving Carolina out with them, I moved Madonna out with Lenny and Kravitz. Because I just, I wanted to get the household down. Between the 100 baby, between the 100 baby save, and between the Dowd Legacy, where we just had 13 kids. Those have been my main two games that I've been playing, mainly, like, for, for my personal enjoyment. Those have been the two games that I've been playing for the last few months, and I just needed a break from the large households. Like, I just wanted some kind of sanity. So, I was like, okay, I'm moving Lenny Kravitz out, and I'm moving Madonna with them, and that's going to knock my household down. Jo uh, Joseph passed away, so that knocked it down to just Carolina and Heidi. And I wanted her to get married and start her family, because where I'm wanting to take the legacy now, I wanted to hurry up and get a jump start on that. Because... So, okay, before I get into that, she, she married Waylon. They got married, and they had Regan, and Regan is now a child. She is, she is 10 days to age up to a teen. So she's just recently a child. It hasn't been super long. But, so I, I've been kind of wondering what to do with this legacy, because I, I love the Dowd family, like, I'm sure I've said this before, but the 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 whole uh, the whole story behind Dowd's Paige Dowd, my my founder, she was a sim that me and a friend created together, and of me and a fellow simmer that we we talked in in real life and we. Uh, chatted and everything like that and she wanted us to play a game well we wanted to play a game together and so we created a sim I believe I created Paige and she picked out the name Paige and I picked the last name and I picked Dowd and that's how Paige Dowd become to, to begin or you know that's how she become become to be that doesn't sound right become to be that's how she came to be there we go that's how she came to be uh was that she was created for me and a fellow Simmer to play a legacy challenge together. And we, we would play and we would share pictures and we would share stories. And her page lived such a vastly different life than my page. And her page ended up dying early because of uh, hysteria from playing with the toddler and stuff like that. And then, like, the first, first version of Dowd, after... My friend quit playing her Dowd Legacy. I just kind of lost interest in my Dowd Legacy. Because they ended up, in the first version, Paige and Sam, Sam Winchester, Paige Dowd, they ended up getting married and they had, they adopted a son and then they had two sons and, okay, we need to do something other than just sit here. So what are you doing? You're drinking. Okay. What's, what's Carolina doing? So, uh... Or you're eating. Okay. Uh, well, honey, that's not gonna. Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you want to get you a drink? I mean, let's. Uh. No. Okay. Let's. Can we not? All right. Just do a cheerful introduction. Quit. Quit trying to eat, cause that's gonna do. That's gonna do nothing for you. Let's get you taken care of, and then I'll finish my story. Uh. Oh, and she's a hundred baby. She's one of my hundred baby sims. Athelia Holiday. She's one of my hundred baby sims. Okay, so now let's put her in a group and let's find some privacy. Let's go over here together. Yeah, butchy butchy. Butchy butchy. Come on. Come on, Athelia. Okay, let's just go over there together. Come on, y'all two. Let's get this done before I forget where I was. I'm going to grab a drink. All right. So, while we're here and we have some privacy, compel for a... Oh, wait. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Compel for a deep, deep drink. She wasn't able to drink for so long because she was completing those aspirations and I had to think for a second. So now she can go back to drinking. Because she was living on 
uh, plasma fruit and fruit packs. So she could have done that, but I just wanted to get this. Hopefully, it, hopefully it raises it a lot quicker than that. If it don't, I'm gonna get so mad. I don't play a whole lot with vampires, and usually when I do, they just eat eat uh, plasma fruit and drink plasma packs. So, all right, while she's eating, uh, my dads, they, they adopted a son, and then they had two sons, and then they had their daughter. And the way I had the rules or the laws of that legacy challenge set up was that uh, it was the female. It could only be a female heir. And... Uh, so, I, but I was really, like... I was really attached to the boys. I was really, really attached to Sam and Paige's boys in, in version 1.0. And I did not like their daughter at all. Like, I didn't care about her. I wasn't connected to her. I wasn't attached to her. She was just any other Sim. And when she took over, I just kind of lost the attachment. And because I couldn't get attached to her, I, you're going to pass out. I don't even know why I did that. So because I couldn't be, I lost my attachment to her and never gained it. I never gained an attachment to her child. And so I was just really bored with, uh, with the whole legacy. And so I just kind of quit. Well, I, my favorite Sims ever was Paige and Sam Winchester. Uh, and they, they were just like some of my favorite Sims. I had so much fun with them. And so I wanted to restart the I wanted to restart their legacy and this time maybe make it where I had a little bit more say if I wanted but I was able to just let fate determine it. So I restarted and I I did cheat and I got Sam and Paige back together. And so they uh can we go? Are we done? Okay, we're going home. We're going home. We're going to put you guys to bed cuz it looks like all you guys except for Carolina are just dragging. So not to spend the next hour and a half talking about this legacy. They, I got Sam and Paige together and they've had kids and I've gotten more attached. And, you know, I've, I've made it to where I can let fate decide the kids. Or if I'm more favoring one kid, I can kind of, okay, I'll focus on this kid a little bit more. And this will be my heir. You know, so that way it's kind of my choice as well as not my choice, if that makes any sense. So, uh... Where the hell they live? Newcrest, isn't it? No. Brindleton Bay, that's right. They live in Brindleton Bay. Uh, but so, I, uh, no, no, not a little. Let's just our house. We want to bring everybody home. And I've had a lot more fun. Well, during the course of starting Legacy the second time, I call it Dowd 2.0. Between starting Dowd 2.0 and today's date, the legacy rules have changed, and I know I've said this before in an update, that the legacy rules have changed, and I'm not too keen on the changes. Because I really was busting my ass to to get those challenges, or to get the goals and stuff done, and to, to work and to achieve, and it was not. And now, I mean, it is... No disrespect, none at all, because I, I think even with the watered-down version of the legacy, it's still very well thought out challenge it is very like i'm sure it took a lot of time and i'm sure you know trying to update and keep it updated for the newest is you know even more time consuming so i totally get that but i just i feel like they should have just made left the legacy challenge rules as they were and then just done kind of like an uh light which they did do a light version but they they completely watered down the regular rules and did a light version and maybe they could have just done like easy medium hard and left the original rules alone and i mean i know i i can play with the whatever rules i want i have all the rules but it just kind of i'm very weird like that that if something has changed i have to try to do it the way it's supposed to be done if if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it right and it just it it's very it was very weird so without trying to get into all that uh so i've decided the long story here uh i've decided that this is still going to be a legacy challenge but i'm i've done the legacy i've completed everything with the exception of careers and with the exception of 
deaths and a couple of aspirations that I'm still going to work on. I'm going to, I'm going to, through the course of this legacy, every, every single aspiration will be complete by the time this legacy is done. And I'm not going to say that about careers because there's just far too many careers now. So, but I am going to, I'm still going to make each generation have a career of some kind. They're going to work on maxing at the very least one, but if not more, careers. So at, at every legacy or every generation is going to work on a career. And uh, what are you doing? Okay, you're about to go to bed. So uh, you're asleep. Going forward, this is probably the last update you'll see of this house. I'm going to leave Carolina here. She's going to, she's the vampire. This is her home. She's going to stay here and she's going to live in this house and she's going to do whatever she wants in this house. And Heidi will probably live here until the day she dies. But our Sam Regan here, she's going to be an only child. And oh, Jack. Oh, that was our adopted son. Um, so, uh, Regan here is going to be the the founder, so to speak, of the new generation. She is going to, she's, I believe she's five. Is she five or is she, I think she's five. Let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, she's generation five. So generation five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well, not yet ten. Generation five, six, seven, eight, and nine, they're going to live wherever they want. Each each generation, they have to move out and they have to start over, all over on their own. They have to do it on their own. Regan is going to move to the city and she is going to live in the city and, and raise her family in the city. And I don't know where her children are going to live yet because I haven't developed that far into the story. But, and then... The ninth generation gives birth to the tenth generation, and when the tenth generation grows up, this legacy will not be complete until that tenth generation has earned enough money to buy back the legacy home, which will be this. So she's going to move out and, and pursue new adventures, and she's going to work towards aspirations, she's going to work towards careers, she's going to work towards her own storyline, and at the end, the 10th generation is going to have to buy back the family home. And I know that's not technically a legacy, like the legacy challenge, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle of its legacy challenge is stay in the same lot, live in the, live in the ancestral home. But I just, I, if I have to stay and just do not, we, we have $7 million. If all I'm working towards is careers i will pull my hair out and i will i will drop this save quicker than you can blink so in an attempt to to actually do it i the way i see it is i've done everything in the legacy that i'm planning to do except for a couple of aspirations and a couple of careers and i'll keep working on those outside of this home but in the in the current generation so as long as i am working on the the actual things that I would work on in this house, I don't think where I live should matter. And it's not going to be a traditional legacy, but it's going to be legacy enough for me just to keep my sanity and to keep me interested in my game. So, Carolina is going to stay here. She's going to stay in this house. She's going to stay in this home. This is where she raised her 13 children with her husband. This is where her husband died, and this is where she is going to stay for the rest of her life. Or until the 10th generation whenever we earn back our money and then we'll see what happens. So, but that's going to be it. And Heidi, like I said, once Regan, once Regan is old enough to move out, once she turns into a young adult, she's going to immediately move out. She's going to move to the city. We're going to get a breath of fresh air. We're going to get a break from this freaking house. We're going to get a break from this lot. We're going to get a break from Brindleton Bay and we're just going to go live in the city and just do whatever she wants to do. I don't know exactly what she wants to do yet. I just know she wants to live in the city. She dreams about the city all the time. That's all she talks about. She wants to go to the city to try new food. She wants to go try new cultures. She wants to try it all. And she just wants to get away from this house. And so once she turns a young adult, that's it. We're out of here. So 
that's where it's going. Sorry, I, I jabbered for 19 minutes and didn't really say a whole lot, but that that is the the like I said, that's that's the legacy. And if I if I tried to stay in this house and I, I'm going to miss the house. I really am. I'm going to miss the house because I built this house and I decorated it and I think it fits the family, but it no longer fits the story. And I'm ready to just get away. And I'm ready to pursue Regan in her own. And each, I'm going to make each Sim move to a different town just so I can have that bit of break. So, hmm. I had to get a drink, guys. So, <laughs> 20 minutes. Hell of a test to make sure my audios are good. So, I hope my audio was good. I hope my audio was fine. I, I don't even know if I really tested it. But, uh, let's see. Just as a way to test. Come here, Waylon. Come wake up and come. come. No, not try for baby. We're done. We're done. Regan is going to be an only child. Stop that. Hello. Look at you strolling around in your cottage. You need some drawers, man. We are going to get you some drawers. I did not realize that you did not have no damn clothes. And just strolling, too. Come talk. Come talk to your wife. So, everything's good. We got, got the audio. Should be sounding fine. I do have my mic turned up some. And I have the audios on the, on the game turned down. I just hope I didn't turn down the game audios too much. So, this will be a good test. And... On that note, I appreciate y'all just listening to me ramble for 20 minutes, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.